Hey guys, it's Maya. Welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I will be reviewing a different type of software today because as I was looking at my channel, I did see that I do review my phone, the tablet, the laptops, the desktops, the earbuds, the watches, and I don't really get into software as much, which I really love. So today I'm going to be talking about a software that is called Essential PIM. And Essential PIM is a software that is a task management software for business businesses for even your own personal use for you to get very organized I consider it as a digital planner because of course you're adding your appointments you're adding your tasks you're adding any notes you're adding important information overall I'm gonna go through every task tab that essential PIM does have and how it works one thing I do want to mention about the essential PIM program is that I feel like it's already personally based on for people who are a beginner at technology and are not so advanced at it because it's really easy for you to use now I have been using this program for at least five days now so I've been including my work schedule my school schedule my homework schedule and see how it's been managing to work and everything if you're a little bit more advanced in technology it's gonna be really easy for you to use and of course I do want to go ahead and add that essential PIM is actually sponsoring this video so thank you so much to essential PIM for sponsoring this video I really do appreciate it so we're gonna go ahead and see what they have to offer in their software programs and I'm going to be a hundred percent honest about it essential PIM is actually giving me the liberty to go ahead and give an honest full review of their software program that I'm gonna be reviewing for you guys today and I was like you sure and they were like yeah girl you go for it give me an honest review it's all right i want to like see your opinion i want to see what you think so i was like okay all right that's exactly what i'm gonna do today and lastly if you are a returning kitana watching this video hi welcome back to my weirdness and if you're new to my channel hi my name is maya i like to create tech videos lifestyle videos makeup videos technology videos and even travel videos so if that's something you're interested in i highly suggest you click that subscribe button so let's just go ahead and get straight into this video Alright guys, so this is how the Essential PIM program looks like. As you can see, it is very self-explanatory. And again, like I mentioned before in the video, I will be going through over the simple basic functions that you can use in this program. So of course, it can make it easier for the people who are new to technology. But of course, if you're advanced in technology, then this is going to be very easy for you to understand. So I will be explaining the features that are on the side of the program. And of course, we're going to be starting starting off with the top. As you can see, there are a lot of helpful links on the top of the screen and of the program. And from here is where you can find some more additional features that are a little bit more at advanced technology. And you are also provided with many more shortcuts on this program on the top of the screen panels. And you are also provided with helpful link features just in case if you need to contact Essential PIM or if you have any other questions about their plans or services. Now starting off with with the feature programs on the side we are starting off with the today tab and of course the today tab does show you any tasks or any messages you may have for the day of course any other new appointments that you did create for that day or any new tasks that you also did create that day now I will be showing you guys how you can create new appointments and new tasks later on in this video because in my opinion while editing this video I feel like later on in this video is the perfect time to show you how to do those so now moving on to the mail function now here of course it is pretty self-explanatory because this is just another email software but under the essential PIM program when you open essential PIM it's gonna basically ask you in the beginning when you go to the mail function if you want to add an email address account to the essential PIM program once you log in with the email address you would want to use all of your emails will be transferred to the essential PIM IM program and if you have a lot of emails like me you can go ahead and use that search bar to go ahead and search up any specific email address another way to locate specific emails is by using the quick filter
chapters on the top, which ones you have not read, which ones you have starred, and a lot of other quick filters you can use. So now moving on to the calendar feature, of course here is where you can see any appointments or any important tasks that you have during the week, during the month, or even during the year. To add to that, you do have different types of views on the way you can view your calendar, such as a weekly view, a weekly agenda, you even have a monthly planner and also a yearly annual planner, which I think is really cool because it does show you all the way from January to December and from your days from Sunday through Monday. And the table planner view is just basically showing you all the appointments that you would have even if the appointments were for next year. But me personally, I wouldn't use this view. I would normally use the monthly or the yearly planner. Now I'm going to show you how you can create your appointments. So you do click on the new appointment tab and you will see this small screen pop up. As you can see, there is a lot of detailed features when it comes to creating even just one single appointment. And I think that's pretty cool because especially if you're a very organized person, you can go ahead and put the start date basically when your appointment is. Of course, you can even put the time your appointment is at because we all know how important it is to arrive early to our appointments. You can also add the street address of your appointment, basically where your appointment is going to be located. You can even add categories to your appointment, such as basically another way of saying color coding your appointments or any tasks, which I think is really cool because I am a person that really has to prioritize in that because I am a person who knows how to color coordinate things, especially in my own perspective. So you can always change these categories. You can add or delete. And whenever you decide to add a new one, you can always pick the colors that Essential PIM has provided for you. Next, you can now put the priority of your appointment or task if it's something that you must get done or if it's something that is not so important and you can reschedule, which is pretty cool. And you also do have reminders as well. Now on the right side, you do have your text box where you can add the title of your appointment and any other important information. After you click OK, your appointment should appear on your calendars. Of course, if you ever make a mistake, you can always edit or you can delete your appointments. Next to the delete button, you do have your go to date button, which of course it helps you go faster through the years and through the months, just in case if you are looking for a specific month, date, or year. Lastly, you do have your to date function, which of course will always take you to the date that you are living in currently. Now moving on to the next tab is your task tab. Now here of course is where you can create all the tasks that you have to do for the day or for the upcoming week or even for the upcoming month. The way you can create your tasks is by clicking the add to root function. Now do not be confused because it is basically another way of saying of making a new task. And as you can see, it is literally the same window as when we were creating appointments. Of course, you do now have the option to have a start and a due date, but overall, everything is still the same. You can still add the date and the times. Now with this function, you can also decide if you want this task to be shown on your calendar. Just in case if you'd like to separate your appointments from your tasks, it is completely up to you. Now when it comes to even just adding any location, the category, or even just the priority of your task, it is really up to you on what you want to choose. The cool thing is that you can even now use the completion task a little bit more, showing if you completely 100% finish that task, if you're halfway there, or if you're even one fourth. And again, you can even set a reminder and even other amazing features. And on the right side of the box is where you would put the title of your tasks and also any other additional information. You do have different fonts, different bold fonts, just like a Word document. So use it to your advantage. Once you click OK, you will see your task displayed on the task menu. And this is actually filtered by subject, by start date, due date, the duration, how important it is and also your notes that you did include. So I am going to show you another example of me making a quick task.
What I noticed in this program while you are making your task, they are separated on the top by if it's due today or even next week. And once you have completed those tasks, you can go ahead and click the little box and it will check mark it and it will categorize it as completed. Moving on to the next feature tab, which is notes. And this note function, you can literally use it for anything. For example, such as a diary, or you can even use it for digital notebooks for school. And the way you can do that is by clicking add to root and here you can go ahead and put the title of anything that you're going to be using the notes for. So I will be using this for engineering economic notes and of course you can go ahead and edit and create on how you want your title to look like. You can even add an icon with your notebook such as to go ahead and match with the category you are using the notebook for and after that you can go ahead and click OK and your notebook will be displayed on the left. And of course you will add your information on the right side do have all the functions and all the features just like how Microsoft Word has them so it's basically the same thing Now moving on to the next feature tab which is contacts. Now here of course is where you can add any contact information of a loved one, a family member, a co-worker, or any friends. And by adding a contact you can go ahead and click the add to contact button and you will see another small screen pop up with all the information that you can input about that specific person. And it is actually very detailed as you can see you can put the first and last name, their email, their social media, even their birthdays or any anniversaries like it's really crazy on how much you can put within a contact and you can even add a profile picture or a contact picture under that specific contact next is the password feature now here is where you can add a lot of passwords usernames just in case if you have a lot of programs or software that require a lot of usernames or passwords the way you can save all of that information is putting an add entry and from there you can go ahead and put the program that you are saving Saving your passwords under the username of that specific software and your password of that software as well. You can even add the URL to that specific software or program just to make sure it will lead you to the right program to use the right passwords. And if you want to see if you did type your passwords correctly, you can go ahead and click the eyeball function and it will show you your passwords. Right next to the eyeball function, you do have a little box that says generate and in that generate box, you can be very descriptive and show exactly what your password includes for that specific program. Once you submit all of your information and push OK, your passwords will be displayed on the password menu and they will be filtered by the name of the software that the passwords are used for. And lastly, you do have the trash feature. This is where you will see all the tasks, notebooks, contacts, and information will be once you delete them. For example, if I were to delete my engineering economic notes, it will ask me, are you sure you want to delete them and you will go ahead and look in the trash and you will see that they are displayed in the trash feature. Now if you decide you do need those notes, you can go ahead and click that specific category and click restore and your notes should be back where they were. On the other hand, if you do decide you do want to delete something permanently, you can go ahead and click the item you want to delete. You can click delete or empty trash. Now this is where I personally believe it is like Microsoft 10 when you delete a document or important information. It goes straight to the recycle bin, so from there you can decide if you want to empty your recycle bin to permanently delete those documents. Okay guys, I felt like I did explain the basic features that Essential PIM does have to offer. Now my honest opinion about this program, I personally would not use it for my everyday life organization because one, I already do have my own organization strategy and I personally believe that the features that this program does have to offer, we already have it in our phones, in our tablets, in our laptops and in our desktops. Of course, I am not bringing Essential PIM down in any way, but that is just my own personal opinion. But I believe this program is good for basic essentials, especially when you're starting off with your digital program organization. Okay guys, so that is my full honest review on the Essential PIM task management software. So I really hope that you guys found this video beneficial. If you really liked what I showed you today, I recommend you download the program for yourself. It will be in the link in the description box below. If you guys have any other questions, please feel free to go ahead and comment them down below 
in the box or in the, I was about to say description box, in the comment box section. And I just want to give a one more huge thank you, of course, to my supporters and also to Essential PIM for sponsoring this video. And also, please make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. And please make sure that you also follow me on all my social medias. And of course, here is our lucky comment for the day. Thank you so much for your wonderful comment. I really do appreciate it. And thank you for becoming a part of the Kitana family. And also, if you guys like my background music, my background music was made by Music Studio FX. So thank you so much, Music Studio FX, for also making amazing tunes for these amazing reviews. And I hope that you guys have a wonderful, amazing day, evening, or night, whatever day you guys are watching this on. Bye, guys.